everyone and welcome to a video that I'm having trouble filming because someone wants to be a bugaboo. Gonna be good if I put you down. Ah, so fun. Ah, the joys of motherhood. Anyways, I have got something that I am very excited to open. Well, I shouldn't say very excited. I usually am very excited to open up my Doki Doki Budge Pan Crates with you all. If you don't know, you're new to this. It's a monthly subscription of cute stuff straight from Japan. This is the Happy Halloween Halloween box, and that's the reason why I'm not like super excited to open it. It's just because Halloween, I like Halloween. It's good and fine and everything. But it's not my favorite, and so I know everything in here, at least I'm pretty sure, is going to be Halloween themed. So for me, it's not super duper exciting, especially based on the couple of spoilers I saw on Instagram. But overall, I mean, hey, it is what it is. It's a Doki Doki Red Japan crate. It's all, it's all good, good, happy fun, right? So let's go ahead ah, and see what we got in here. So to start off, here is the little pamphlet for this month. Very cute. And first off, I see we have a cute, oh, this is really cute. So we have got a puppy plush, a little Shiba Inu, I believe it is. And he is in a pumpkin suit, pumpkin outfit, whatever you're going to want to say. It is really cute. It's just, do I need it? No. So I'm not going to clutter up my own collection with something I don't absolutely love. So this will be going into a collective giveaway for you all. I said, real cute, just not for me. Now if it was a cat and a pumpkin. We, we might have another story on our hands, but okay. Next, oh, cute. So we have got some, they call it masking tape. This looks more like washi tape to me. These are labeled stuff for scrapbooking, wrapping things, as you can see on the back here. And speaking of cats, here's the cats. So yay, this is so cute. Doesn't look like it comes with a ton of it, but that's totally fine. I will definitely use this in my planner. Look how cute all the little kitties are. We've got some with pumpkin faces. We've got actual pumpkin there. We've got just normal cat, devil cat, superhero cat. Very, very cute. So yay. I also see something that is very exciting. It looks like we have got a, a Halloween candy dish here with primarily, I believe this is supposed to be for my Melody and Kuromi. But then on the sides, you can see we've got like little Keropi there. And these two that I actually don't know who they are, but very cute. It's in the shape of a purple heart. That is perfect to put some Halloween candy in. So this is like Mexican Halloween, maybe? Because it looks like there's a lot of sugar skulls everywhere. We've got a sign that says Ola. We have got some tacos. So I mean, that's an interesting little twist on Halloween. And then are these sponges? <laughs> They're little ghosts. I don't know what melamine is. But it just says Meramine Obake Fungi. So Melamine Ghost Sponge. Obake means ghost in Japanese. The little sponges in the shape of ghosts. Like I really, I think that's it. And then last but not least, we have got this little Okuromi spoon. I think the main selling point here is that it's got this little hook on the end of the spoon so that it kind of hooks onto your dishes. Oh, so I guess it could be used. Mm, no, because it wouldn't really be helpful in this bowl. This bowl is too small. But yeah, there we go. I mean, that that's it for this month's Doki Doki Crate. Do you see why I was a little underwhelmed? I feel like even, I don't know, maybe someone who does love Halloween, maybe they wouldn't be underwhelmed. I don't know, but they just say Happy Halloween on here, calling all ghouls and goblins, witches and spirits. This month's crate is all about the spooky side of kawaii. Come celebrate Halloween with us using these items to make your October 31st a spooky special night. So yeah, first up we've got the ghost sponges. It says when the festivities die down and the dishes need to be done, the spirits come out to lend a helping hand. These ghoulish friends will help you get your home nice and clean. We've also got the Halloween cat washi tape. Decorate your Halloween photos with this adorable washi tape. Put them on scrapbooks, journals, invites, and more. We have also got the Kuromi spoon. Mischievous Kuromi is doing some good by helping with mealtime. Pair it with your new bowl for an especially cute foodie experience. We've also got the My Melody and Kuromi bowl. This heart-shaped bowl features a unique festive design of My Melody and Kuromi celebrating Halloween and Dia de los, Mu Dia de los Muertos. I'm very bad at Spanish. I try so hard with those R's. Sometimes they work, 
sometimes they don't in terms of working with my tongue. Your other friends, Keropi and Cheery Chums, that's who they are, have also joined the party for some spooky family fun. Use this bowl to set out some candy for your friends or party guests. There was also the Pumpkin Sheba. Decorate your home like no other with this unique Pumpkin Sheba plush, a perfect blend of Halloween whimsy and Japanese cuteness. Cuddle close to this pup when it's not welcoming trick-or-treaters. Oh, cute. So if you would have won the Sticky Crate this month, which is just one lucky winner who's subscribed to these Doki Doki by Japan crates, gets chosen, and they get upgraded to this special box. You would have gotten a Kuromi and my Melody Moving Ear Hat. We have got a Kuromi handbag, a Sentimental Circus Tumbler, as well as a pen stand, a Kuromi umbrella, a Sentimental Circus pouch set, Kuromi and Shirotan plush. So, very cute! I just think a lot of this, like I said, has to do with me not being a huge Halloween freak. Otherwise, I probably would have been a lot more happy with all of the stuff that I got in here. But, you know, it is what it is. That's just how these subscription boxes work from month to month. You're not going to love every single one of them. But it means that next month, I'm gonna love it even more, right? Because it can't get too much worse. I mean, when the thing you're most excited about is a little 50 cent thing of tape, chances are things will get better. <laughs> so there you are my friends. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing even though like I said it wasn't like super exciting for me or anything. I hope it was still able to make you smile seeing what I got in my Doki Doki by Japan crate this month. Definitely let me know. I don't know that there were any variations on the items. I feel like most months there are at least a couple items in each box that you could have gotten like a different color or a different variation on the thing. So let me know if you also get Doki Doki by Japan crate. If you got any variations down in the comments below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, whatever the case might be, by giving it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you are new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap that notification bell down below. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel or my main channel. I would love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. Until next time, just stay well. Until then, bye!